Hi guys, if you miss me, I'm back. Here we go. Well, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing this paraffin wax treatment equipment hand bowl, foot bowl, or elbow bowl, I guess. Uh, you'll be able to paraffin wax your hands, feet, and elbows. So this video is not sponsored. It's a product that I purchased to check out and see how it works for my own hands. Has a nice see-through clear plastic lid. These must be just some uh, little mittens you can stick your hands in. You can stick your hands in when you have the paraffin wax on your hands. The inside is a smooth material. It's almost like a silky material. And then this is almost like a face cloth material. It's got some Velcro parts here so you can kind of just push it I guess to... I'm guessing this is for your hands. So Keep your hands in. This is for your feet. So when you paraffin wax your feet, you uh, put these little booties on, slip your feet inside, and then you don't get wax everywhere and your wax also won't get dirty if you want to reuse it. Just a quick note, if your feet are any bigger than size eight, they are very tight to put on. Here is the paraffin wax. I went ahead and ordered some more wax, just if I wanted a fuller bowl. Um, that is still coming in the mail. I will do a video on that sometime soon when it comes in. So it's kind of, it's really solid right now. And this does take quite a while to warm up. I do believe a couple hours, depending on what setting you put it on. I think this only has two to three settings. So we'll check that out. Here's another uh, wax. Now I can't remember the names if they do have scents or not, but if they do, I will put the scents of the bars here if there is a scent. Now it never really did say, but I think one is lavender and one is rose. Comes with a brush. If you feel like brushing wax on any part of your body or hand, clear handle. Here is the plug for your machine. This one comes with the US uh, uh, standard plug. Lengthwise isn't too, too bad. It's got some good length on there. If you're wondering where I purchased this item from, it was off of Amazon. This is your foot booties. So once you put the plastic on your feet, you can put these little socks over top. Keep your feet nice and cozy. And it also does have the Velcro on the back as well. And then these are probably for your hands, finger gloves. So I'll demonstrate all this in the next video coming up. I will link it in this video to show if you'd like to view that video. 
So then we have a rack inside. I think this is for, um, so once you have your wax in here, you're not touching the bottom of the pot. I will read up on the user manual to make sure that I'm doing everything correct. And then here we have the pot. So apparently this does light up. We're gonna test that out. It does have some little feet props up here if you wanted to sit a little higher off the table. I probably won't because it looks like it kind of collapses and it's a little bit wobbly. So I probably will just leave those down and just use these little padded feet it has. It's almost like a little bathtub. Pretty neat. I am gonna wipe this out before I do put the wax in and then uh, plug it in and let it warm up. It does have measurements inside. On the bottom it's 1000 ml, 2000 ml, and 3000 ml. So depending how full you want your wax pot. It's got some nice resting edges here. So if you're putting your arm in or like for your elbow um, or your leg, it's more comfortable. And the one thing I liked about it is it does have the see-through lid. I don't know, I like that. Uh, you can buy one that doesn't have a see-through lid. And this also does come in another color. I do believe it's in black. And I'm not, I'm not sure if it comes in another color or not. So automatically when I plugged it into the wall, these lights start flashing. And I did get a beep. I did miss out on that because I didn't have my camera rolling. If you're wondering if these do smell, they do have a light um, smell. I don't know, to me it smells kind of rosy and just, I don't know, just a nice smell. So to turn on the machine, you hit this once. And as you can see, the temperature of it is starting to go up. That's pretty cool. Now touching the bottom of the tray, I can feel it's it's getting quite warm already. So yeah, we'll wait the the one hour, see where we stand, and then we'll come back when it's fully melted. So these buttons right here are for switching the temperature. So I'm on A2 right now as we do have two blocks of wax in. Um, I can show you quickly, this is if you have three blocks of wax or if you just have one. So I'm just setting it to there so when it's fully, um, well I guess when it's ready to go it will alarm three beeps. If you wanted to adjust the temperature yourself then you would just go to right here where the uh, you can see the, the numbers and you can adjust how hot you want to make it. But we're just gonna switch it back to the two bars so it automatically just gets to that heat level. If you are looking at buying this item, you can read over this manual just to make sure that this is the item you are looking for and it's right for you. So at one hour, which was the first setting for if you're just using one block of wax, um, this actually lit up red, I missed that. Um, and so there, because there's two, we have to wait one more hour and this should be fully melted. I did go ahead and put the lid on to keep some of that heat in so it would melt better, but we will see. This Apparently this is what the temperature is right now. Um, now in the book it says, that there's R1, R2, and R3, but on here it showed uh, A1, A2, and A3. So not really sure why that is. I have a, if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. 
So we are at two hours now with it melting and this is the stage. So it is melting quite slow and it's going to take quite a while before uh, you can actually start using it. So if you're wanting to get this model and you want to have a quick hand dip, um, this may take a while. So probably need a good um, three to four hours at least. And this is only with two blocks of wax. So if you want more in there, it's going to probably take like all day. Just FYI. Okay, so I ended up ending this video here. Check out the next video linked right here for more information as I got to use this pot for a while now and I also receive my packages. So check out the next video. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Give this video a like as well. Thank you. See you later.